So I gotta wonder, am I the only person on YouTube that's doing a lip swatch video during a pandemic when we're all wearing masks? I just might be. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and my videos help you to stylize your perfect skincare wardrobe. And I'm not just focused on skincare products and skincare ingredients, I care about cosmetics as well, especially the ingredients going into the makeup products that we put on our face. So today we're gonna do something that I have not done in the longest time, and that is a lip swatch video with these new Pat McGrath lipsticks I have. And we're going to talk about the ingredients in them. I will swatch them and try them on and let you know what I think. And I just wanna put a little disclaimer. I know this angle is a bit weird. My house is in complete disarray right now because we're moving. I can't wait. It took a pandemic to force us out of the tower we've been living in for the last 10 years in downtown Dubai into a villa. So when I do leave, I will do sort of an apartment tour thing for you guys and show you the view. I just don't wanna do it right now because then it'll be very obvious where I'm living and I have an issue with stalkers, male stalkers. I actually had some incidents this summer where this man was following me around based on my Instagram Insta stories. So I no longer post those in real time. Um, I don't know, I think that they're just shameless. I clearly am married with kids, but they either don't care or they maybe they just think I'm the nanny. I don't know, but anyways, I'm gonna hold off on that until we're out of here so I can just feel like I can sleep safely at night. So getting into these lipsticks, I'm already annoyed and that's because when I was buying these online, I bought them with a birthday gift card I had to Sephora. I only looked at the ingredients in this one. I assumed that they were the same and I picked them based on color. Well, they're not. This is the lip balm and these are the lip shines. Unfortunately, the lip shines contain that ingredient that I really don't like to put anywhere on my skin, my face, my lips, and that's that fragrance perfume. Because we know that that's a trade secret. They don't have to tell us what goes into their special concoction. It could have thousands of chemicals, we don't know, and it could have those pro-drying alcohols. Now, there is one other ingredient I wanna talk about, and I'm going to tell you about that as I'm trying this one on. But to start off with, of course, the packaging gets an A+. Pat McGrath does super cool things. Look at this, the shoes. That looks like the shoes I wear out. And I always love her packaging, and the lipstick itself is beautiful. I mean, that little lip makes such a difference. Isn't that cute? Almost looks like it has lip fillers. <laughs> so I'm loving the packaging and I'm expecting when I open this, okay, I'm not smelling anything. It doesn't have the fragrance, but I think it's going to have a taste. And that's because there's an ingredient in here called flavor aroma. And that is a flavor of the lip gloss. So it doesn't actually tell us what the flavor is. It's probably a mixture. I find that if it kind of, um, how would I say this? If it leans towards the more sweeter flavors, like, I don't know, a cake or vanilla, those ones aren't drying, but the ones that are more citrusy can be drying or sensitizing. So I don't know that they necessarily contain the alcohols, but the vanilla ones for me seem to be okay. This color is called Love Supreme, and I bought these based off Pat McGrath's Instagram account. She has all these super filtered videos using these, and I just love them. I had to have a few for myself. So as I'm doing a swatch, I can see that it is pretty sheer. It looks like a, just a, how would I describe this? A cool tone pink, almost like a My Lips But Better type of thing. So I'm going to try it on now. I, don't, I do not have any lipstick on. I have nothing on my lips and I apologize for this annoying little blemish that popped up. I don't know what that's all about, but I woke up with it. Yep, it's definitely a my lips but better type of look. I have to say, it feels wonderful on the lips. Mmm, so nice and soft. This is the type of lip products I like to wear. I know it's gonna come right off on my glass. It's okay, I don't mind reapplying it. And this is just going to help my lips feel super moisturized throughout the day. It does have a ton of emollients and waxes. 
and I can feel that on my lips, but it does not have any bad ingredients. Yep, look at that, comes right off. But you know what, that's okay. Feeling so warm that I'm gonna just quickly throw my hair back. Using one of my daughters is all I could find, one of her little hair ties. She actually fell off a horse two weeks ago. It just put such a, I, every, I dropped everything else because of that. Luckily, nothing happened, nothing bad. We, I did take her to the ER at you know, 8.30 at night and I was picturing the worst, but she just ended up having a sprain. And oh, you know, there's something about just being a mom. I feel like, I don't know. It's, it's more than a full-time job. <laughs> so, okay, not the best hair, but who cares? Feels better, don't have that hair on my neck. So now let's get into these ones that have that fragrance ingredient. Ugh. I have two of them. And when I look at these ingredients, there are also, I mean, there's coconut oil, there's mica. Mica is a natural mineral that gives a lot of sparkle and shine. Synthetic fluoroflogopite is synthetic mica. I don't, yes, it is in here as well. And I mean, there are just tons and tons of emollients in these lipsticks, which I have to say that I just love. There's silica and silica is in perfect little spheres, so it helps the product to glide on well. It's a silicone, so there are a lot of silicones in here. Look at the packaging, how cute is this? My goodness. And first we'll try on the nude Venus. I do wanna just point out for full disclosure here, I'm totally wearing my husband's underwear right now. And just in case I end up like walking in the back mirror and I see it while I'm editing, at least I can tell you guys that. So this is the nude Venus. And let's see how it looks. Already it feels drier. Actually, I take that back. It feels thicker. Ooh, I like the color on me. It looks nice. Um, all right, I have to say I am loving it. I think the color looks great. I mean, oh my God, this is so annoying. <laughs> but I think it looks good on me. I mean, I like this color. I would wear this out even at nighttime, especially if I was doing a really dramatic eye. And it's, it's thick, but it's still, I mean, you can see this right in my lips. It's very, very emollient, and there's a lot of shine in it. There are a lot of silicones in it, and it's just sort of gliding. It doesn't feel like it would be drying on my lips. Maybe if I, you know, started using it every day, eventually I'd start to notice something, but it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel matte, which I love these aren't gonna stay on. So if you like the long lasting lipsticks, by all means, skip these. <laughs> I literally just recorded a whole segment and realized actually I didn't record it. I'm just talking to my camera with nothing on it. So here is the Electric Lotus. I literally just applied it to my skin and you can see the color is beautiful on. And once again, same ingredients. This feels fantastic. And I am just chit-chatting with you. I'm talking and I don't even feel it on my lips. It feels like I just have a nice chapstick on. I don't smell anything. So I know that the fragrance in here is just a masking scent just to probably cover up the scent of the lipstick itself wasn't that nice. Maybe it was just a mixture of the waxes and the emollients in it, but it feels wonderful. Now, if they do start feeling dry on my lips, I'm noticing that, I'll do an update and let you know. But for the meantime, I think that these will definitely be in heavy rotation. And I still wear lipstick with a mask. You know, <laughs> it's not for everyone, but trust me, a mask is not gonna stop me from wearing my lipstick. And no, I do not have any hacks yet. I have seen that thing, but I don't have any hacks on how to avoid getting lipstick all over the mask. I do it all the time. So what I like to do is I only put on my lipstick once I get to the destination. I don't put on the lipstick when I'm wearing the mask. So anyways, with that being said, this morning I did do my new face. I don't know if my lips look a little bit plumper to you. Does my face look a little bit more pulled up? I am feeling like I'm starting to see something, but maybe that's just because I'm spending all that time every day 
doing the facial workout, but check out my video right here on the new face device.